Hello students, today we will discuss the numericals based on the law of constant proportions, right? And before coming to solve the questions, numerical questions based on this topic, you must watch the theoretical part of this topic that is the law of constant proportions, right? By clicking on the I button here, right? Now, the question number one, let us start the question number one, okay? And one solution is here, also that from my side that if you understand the question very clearly, then it will be very easy to solve the question right so first of all read the question carefully and then and, and understand properly right then you start to solve the question it will be very easy right question let, let us start to solve the question right the question number one is in an experiment there is an experiment where 1.288 gram of copper oxide you know the copper oxide okay was obtained from 1.03 gram of copper the amount of copper right the mass of copper is 1.03 gram from which 1.28 gram of copper oxide is formed in an experiment experiment right formed or was obtained right and in another experiment here is the first experiment this is the second experiment that is the in another experiment we can write here 3.672 gram of copper oxide gave an redux on reduction 2.938 gram of copper right here the amount of copper the mass of copper is 2.938 gram right and from this amount of copper we obtained the 3.672 gram of copper oxide right so that the so that these figures verify the law of constant proportion these figures figures means these values okay they we have to verify we have to show that these figures verify the law of constant proportions okay now let us start to solve the questions right now for the first experiment let us say this, say this section is a right here the mass of copper oxide equals to 1.288 gram it is given here and the mass of copper and mass of copper equals to 1.03 gram it is given here right now we can calculate the mass of oxygen easily therefore mass of oxygen will be mass of copper oxide minus mass of copper if we subtract the mass of copper from the mass of copper oxide you will get the mass of the oxygen right what is the value what is the, what are the figures it is 1.288 yes minus 1.03 equals to what will the value subtract here 1.288 and 1.03 put 0 here 8 minus 0 that is 0 8 minus 3 5 2 minus 0 2 and 1 minus 1 is 0 1 minus 1 0 this is 0 0.250 gram of oxygen right now required ratio or you can say proportion right equals to mass of copper upon mass of oxygen right now put the value of mass of copper mass of copper is 1.03 gram upon mass of oxygen which which is 0 0.250 gram and we get the value nearly about 4 by 1 that is 4 ratio 1 right okay if you divide 1.03 by 0 0.250 you will get the value nearly about 4 right so ratio is 4 by 1 that is 4 ratio 1 4 is to 1 right now, now let us discuss the second experiment section b okay in another experiment 3.672 gram of copper oxide gave on reduction 2.938 gram of copper right the here mass of copper oxide this is we are talking here about the second experiment right what is the amount of copper oxide it is 3.672 gram okay and the mass of copper mass of 
कॉपर इक्वल्स टू टू पॉइंट नाइन थ्री एट ग्राम ओके नाउ वी कैन फाइंड द मास ऑफ ऑक्सीजन हाउ यू कैन फाइंड राइट बाय सब्ट्रैक्टिंग दिस फ्रॉम दिस राइट तो वी कैन राइट योर देर फोर द मास ऑफ ऑक्सीजन इक्वल्स टू दिस माइनस दिस दैट इज थ्री पॉइंट सिक्स सेवन टू माइनस टू पॉइंट नाइन थ्री एट ग्राम राइट वॉट विल द वैल्यू लेट एस डू हियर द रफ वर्क हियर थ्री पॉइंट सिक्स सेवन टू माइनस टू पॉइंट नाइन थ्री एट ट्वेल्व माइनस एट दैट इज फोर सिक्स माइनस थ्री दैट इज थ्री सिक्सटीन माइनस नाइन दैट इज सेवन एंड पॉइंट जीरो जीरो पॉइंट सेवन थ्री फोर ग्राम ऑफ ऑक्सीजन इज ऑप्टेंट राइट Now again you have to find the ratio. Now, therefore, required ratio, or you can say the proportion equals to mass of copper upon mass of oxygen. Again, so there is no need to write here the mass of copper upon mass of oxygen. You can directly write here. What is the mass of copper? This is two point nine three eight. This one, the mass of copper, upon the mass of oxygen obtained is zero point seven three four, equals to four upon one. That is four ratio one. Okay. If you do the calculation, you will get the value four by one. Right. Here now we can say that this is constant. Right. Four ratio one here and in the first experiment also four ratio n and four ratio one. The ratio, the required ratio, the required portion proportion is constant in both the experiment. So we can say that these figures, these figures, these are the figures, right? Follows or follows the law of constant proportions because in both of the experiment if we get the same ratio or same proportions. So we can say that is it follows the law of constant proportions, right? Okay, let us discuss to solve the question number two. It says hydrogen and oxygen combine in the ratio of one ratio eight by mass to form water. Okay, what mass of oxygen gas would be required to react completely with three gram of hydrogen gas? Okay, if the hydrogen gas is three gram, then what amount? what mass of oxygen gas would be required okay according to question according to question according to question right hydrogen this this one is for hydrogen and this eight is for oxygen right so 1 gram of hydrogen gas Requires, requires. We can add eight gram of eight gram of oxygen. Yes, this is the ratio. And according according to this one, we can write like this. Okay, the meaning is the same, right? One gram of hydrogen gas requires or combines. You can also say eight gram of oxygen gas because the ratio is one ratio eight. So therefore. you can write here since therefore here the amount of the hydrogen gas is 3 g right so 3 g of hydrogen gas requires how much 8 into 3 g of oxygen gas that is 24 g of oxygen yes this is the solution this is the answer because in a question it is asking that what mass of oxygen gas so this is the mass of oxygen gas which is required to react completely with 3 g 3 g of hydrogen gas right because you know this one this ratio okay so this is the solution of this question let us discuss on the next question okay discuss the question number third which is when 3 g of carbon is burned in 8 g of oxygen here carbon is burned in the oxygen the amounts are the figures are 3 g of carbon and 8 g of oxygen and after burning we get we obtain the 11 g of carbon dioxide how much 11 g of carbon dioxide is produced right now 
the question is that it is asking what mass of the carbon dioxide now we have to find out the amount or the mass of the carbon dioxide will be formed when 3 gram of carbon is burnt in the 50 gram of oxygen right here the amount of oxygen is increased that is 50 gram right which law of chemical combination will govern your answer right we know here the c plus o2 c plus o2 gives co2 right here 3 gram of carbon here 3 gram of carbon is burnt with 8 gram of oxygen and it gives 11 gram of co2 clear as per the statement right now the question is that how much carbon dioxide will be formed here how much carbon dioxide will be formed when 3 gram of carbon is burned in 50 gram of oxygen here the amount of oxygen the mass of oxygen has increased right it was before 8 gram now it is 50 gram so what amount of the carbon dioxide will be formed right this is the question and you have to also give the answer that the which law of the chemical combination will will govern your answer right will here 3 gram of carbon will combine with 50 gram of oxygen not it is not true because it requires only the 8 gram of the oxygen whatever be the amount of oxygen is supplied it doesn't matter the matter the things that matters is the it is a it is a 3 ratio 8 because it is a constant proportion it is a it follows the law of constant proportion because you know because we know that in the formation of the carbon dioxide gas the amount of carbon is if 3 gram then the amount of oxygen will be 8 gram right it is fixed because it follows the law of the constant proportions right so we can say that from the 50 gram or out of 50 gram only the 8 gram of oxygen gas combines with the carbon of 3 gram 3 gram of carbon and it forms the carbon dioxide gas so the 50 minus 3 50 minus 8 50 minus 8 that 48 gram of oxygen will remain will remain okay it will this oxygen will not be used this oxygen will not be used okay in the reaction in the formation of the carbon dioxide okay and we can say that this reaction sorry this reaction follows or you can say this combination follows the law of chemical uh, sorry law of constant proportions okay thank you in the next video i will discuss the more numerical problems and uh, till now thank you and keep smiling thank you so much and if you like my videos please subscribe likes and share thank you so much